With all of this controversy centered around immigration, I have a solution. The United States should just annex Canada and Mexico. Boom, problem solved. 91 states, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. But once again, immigration is a hot button issue that is uh, stirring up the entire nation. Republican team players and Democratic team players will dig their heels in, ignore all nuance, and quite frankly, take extreme positions. Apparently, Democrats grew at heart after looking away for decades. And now all of a sudden, they care about immigrants and the children being separated from their parents at the border. Just to recap, since the presidency of Bill Clinton, the United States has been tearing families apart at the border. But since Donald Trump is in office, Democrats finally care. To be fair, uh, Republicans aren't any better as they attempted to double down on enforcing the law of immigration and then they basically did a, a 180 after they were met with moral outrage. However, Ted Cruz did introduce legislation that would prevent parents and their children being turned away at the border. However, of course, as we all know, it wasn't good enough for the Democrats who had to introduce their own bill. Why couldn't they just support Ted Cruz's bill? Because they are all team players. I don't mind political gridlock, but I cannot stand hypocrisy and inconsistency. Anyway, it doesn't matter which political party started this abhorrent policy that separates parents from kids. It doesn't even matter who enforces it. One thing is clear. Our immigration system is broken. And frankly, I am annoyed with how we conduct ourselves when discussing major issues. Both extremes annoy the hell out of me. Both sides are centered around emotions rather than facts. Here are the facts that will surely piss off many Republicans and many Democrats. And I don't care because it needs to be said. Firstly, immigrants are good for the economy. Secondly, we need border security. Thirdly, a business owner can hire whoever they want. And fourthly, funneling welfare to illegal immigrants isn't good, even legal immigrants. Here is the reality of our immigration process. It is too complicated. Our immigration system is so convoluted and expensive, it encourages illegal immigration. We should be encouraging immigrants to come through a checkpoint to have a disease check and a background check. And the reason why I think we should simplify our immigration process, because if it's simple and nearly risk-free, if you are a good, clean person, then why would you need to sneak over? If you're sneaking over, then you're probably doing something shady. Again, this is why we should simplify our process. Plus, it would save a lot of money and a lot of time. We should have four tiers for immigrants, as far as permission to come over. The four tiers should be tourists, education, work visas, and citizenship. You don't need to hand out a citizenship to every immigrant that comes through. A citizenship should be earned. But you should be able to work here if you want to. The American dream should be something that everyone strides for. Each tier will have different benefits or terms. But they should be simple. If you purchase a tourist permit at the border checkpoint, you are free to travel anywhere in the United States you would legally be able to if you were a citizen. But you must leave the country when your permit expires. You can purchase different durations at different rates. I think that would be a good idea. If you come on an education permit, you should again be able to travel freely, but maybe you should have to report periodically to make sure you're actually here going to school. Maybe once a month or bi-monthly or every three months. I don't know. This is just me brainstorming an idea. If you come on a work visa, you should have the ability to travel, seek education, and of course earn a wage whether or not it is under the table. Now, maybe the education and work visa will be the same thing. I don't know. But within those three tiers, you won't be rewarded the same privileges all Americans have, like voting. And it's not because I don't want people to have freedom. It's because nations exist. People hate nations. Nations hate other nations. So I do think there is a blanket of security that we need. Of course, then the last tier 
is citizen is citizenship. Now I don't know the specific details of the requirements you would need, but I would imagine something like you need to have lived in the U.S. for a period of time. You should be free of any violent offenses. You should be able to vaguely describe our constitution and system of government. Then voila, you are entitled to every single right and privilege an American has. And let me let me be clear. Let me emphasize vaguely describe our constitution and system of government. Because most of our citizens, even our voting population, can barely describe our constitution and system of government. So I say vaguely. Like I said, after that, once you get citizenship, you are entitled to every single right and privilege an American has. Like voting. And that's just my idea to fix our immigration system. We don't need to close off our borders, and we sure as hell don't need to open them right up. We need to be smart, we need to be pragmatic, and we need to err on the side of human freedom. But, we can trust, but verify.